Hi, thanks for joining us. Today we're talking about uh, new 2020 introductions from Minka Lavery and George Kovacs. We've got lots of new product, over uh, 70 new Minka Lavery items, 25 great outdoor items, and about 50 George Kovacs items. So we're going to hop right in. We're going to start with Minka Lavery. First collection ha we have here is called Regal Terrace. Uh, it's a beautiful transitional Art Deco style. It's offered in polished nickel and soft brushed brass. This is actually an integrated LED fixture. Uh, one thing to note is just really great scale on this fixture. So we have 14 to 50 inch, 14 to 15 inch uh, height on those shades. So it just makes it a really chunky fixture, uh, beautiful uh, transitional style. The next collection we have is called Orium. It's a unique mid-century style. Uh, it incorporates a flat white finish with comp complementary honey gold interior. So a couple different sizes here. You have multiple pendant options, including a mini pendant. The next collection we have, we have is called Burnham Wood. Uh, this takes uh, our Koa finish from our best-selling Distress Koa finish from our Minka Air series, incorporates it into our lighting product. Uh, one thing I love about this this product here, it's uh, a great mid, uh, a great farmhouse style, uh, but it's not too rustic where you can't do it in uh, more contemporary environments. So it makes it a really versatile fixture, especially with that uh, brushed nickel accent. Next collection we have is called Coles Crossing. It's a great use of mixed metals uh, on a transitional form here. Uh, so you have coal and nickel with a mesh accent. And next we have Montauk Bay. So outdoor living is definitely in. And when I say in, I mean, mean interior. Uh, so this is a wicker material here uh, with a versatile nickel accent. Uh, great for casual living, uh, great for that kind of bohemian look. Uh, this is definitely a trending style right now and Minka is on it. Next collection, here, collection we have is called uh, Gilded Glam. So this is a coal finish with an interior honey gold accent. Uh, it's a laser cut metal, uh, laser cut um, shapes there you can see. And three sizes here, topping out at 20 inches on the width, on the larger size. Next we have Westchester County. So a really big offering from uh, Minka here. So a couple different sizes that you're gonna see, not the whole collection is shown here, uh, but two finishes. So on the left side we have a uh, farmhouse white with distressed gold leaf accent and on the right side we have the sand coal with gold leaf accent. So I really love this flush mount here. I think it's a really really unique flush mount. Uh, lends itself to a French country look but also kind of that farmhouse style and one thing I love too is a couple different sizes on the single tier chandelier. Uh, this single, single tier actually goes up to about 40 inches uh, so a really nice scale on that. And then we have our best-selling collection now we're offering in this coal finish. So again, uh, black is, is making a comeback for sure. And uh, we're offering our Parsons Studio in the black finish. The whole collection is now available. And then three bath bars we've introduced here. So again, you're seeing some mixed metals. So we have the sand coal and uh, brass uh, brush brass accent here. And then the Westfield Manor, same thing here. A little bit more of a schoolhouse look with a really thick um, seated glass. And then we have Dewberry Lane. And that's actually a dark brushed bronze finish and that's an integrated LED fixture. So next we'll, we'll look at uh, our exterior product collection here. So first is, first is uh, Danforth Park. It's a great mid-century style or craftsman style, uh, really versatile fixture. Uh, it incorporates a CD glass. People are really enjoying that. It's less, less maintenance over time. Um, and it, it features this really nice scaled uh, hood look to it. So a pretty versatile fixture there, a little bit mid-century, a little bit craftsman can go with a lot of different, um, a lot of different homes. Next we have Sullivan's Landing here. Uh, this was definitely a favorite at the market. It's a transitional piece with kind of that retro hurricane style blown glass there. It's a single piece of blown glass, just a really unique piece of glass, uh, and that's in a coal finish. Next we have Canterbury. So this is actually an introduction from 2019, and we've expanded the look. Uh, we've created a 32 inch overall height fixture. Uh, we're definitely seeing more of 
uh, our collections go larger. Uh, people needing those larger style lanterns, and they're they're tough to find. So Minka has uh, pretty much all of our best sellers now available in this uh, 30 plus inch size. So Canterbury here, a really nice uh, transitional look, uh, black finish with a uh, a nice gold uh, distressed gold uh, candle cover. Then we have Maribel Heights here. So a soft retro, uh, retro look, uh, kind of that lantern style uh, with a seated glass. It's a coal finish with a, a, a light distressed gold accent coming through. And then two new collections here. Uh, I'm gonna talk about Playwright on the right. Uh, it's a really elegant RLM style. That, that RLM style is very popular right now. Uh, this this kind of lends itself to that look but it's a little bit more decorative, a little bit more subtle um, and, and great for exterior use. Obviously this is an exterior fixture, but I could also see this uh, going indoors as well. And then we have Signal Park, a little bit more of that uh, industrial style look in two finishes. And then finally City Street. So this is an IDA approved fixture, uh, minimalist, simple, uh, really strong value for this. And this is integrated LED as well. And then finally, I'll mention our RLM series. It's a growing category for us. Um, we've expanded on this look since last year. Uh, so now we have all of the shade options available in the uh, coal finish as well. So next we'll talk about George Kovacs, some really exciting products being re uh, released from George Kovacs. Uh, the first is the Polaris family. So it's an asymmetrical pendant. Uh, it lends itself to that organic form, which is very popular right now. So you've got an etched glass with a soft honey gold finish. And then you have these really cool um, CD glass accents. That's Polaris. Next is Outer Limits. So this is a minimalist fixture. It's a perfect uh, fixture for a ranch style home um, or mid-century decor. You have a black finish with a natural brush, brushed brass finish. Next we have Golden Eclipse, a really fun, unique uh, contemporary LED pendant. So we have an integrated LED source here. Um, the laser cut metal really creates some unique shapes uh, and casting on the wall. A couple of different sizes here, a couple of different shapes, and then obviously the black and uh, honey gold finish. Great value on this fixture as well. The smaller size retailing for around $100. Next, we have our scale family. So it's a streamlined take on the Williamsburg style. Uh, it's a soft brass finish with LED lamping. It's perfect for smaller construction, like I mentioned before, ranch style homes, uh, but also mid-century decor. And that is also integrated LED. Next, we have our Midnight Gold family. Um, so we have a clear rib glass, creates this really dynamic look on the uh, black finish or the coal finish. And then you have a honey gold accent as well. So really full collection here. You have this beautiful island light or linear piece. You have an oversized pendant. And then you actually have a bath and outdoor piece as well. So people have really taken to this bath piece. Uh, it's going with a lot of those, um, you know, black faucets, black black plumbing. As I said, those mixed metals are definitely being incorporated uh, into the bathroom and the kitchen. And then we've expanded on our Aluria collection. Uh, this has been a bestseller for us for uh, a year or two now. We introduced it about two years ago. So again, you've got a mixed metal finish here. And then we have the foyer piece. So one thing to note here, this is an integrated LED source. The rest of the family is a G9 light source. The Aloria collection here, the foyer piece is an integrated LED source. But this kind of completes that, uh, makes the full family available. So next we have a couple of bath collections. Uh, the first being the plain collection here. It's a contemporary, contemporary LED bath bar uh, with an aviation inspired design. Uh, it's offered in brushed nickel and the honey gold finish. Uh, really, really uh, nice, simple design, simple back plate, keeps it nice and clean. Um, and the the 24 inch bath bar, really good price point, coming in around 230 retail. And then we have our major family. So I think the 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 major and the inner circle, uh, two very dynamic looking bath bars. 
Uh, it's very difficult to, to recreate the LED strip or LED bath bar, and I think we've really done a good job of uh, creating some unique uh, dynamic elements to this. So you can see the back plate here. Um, there's kind of an inlet there. And then we've got the uh, aged brass finish on that LED fixture there. And then on the inner circle, uh, we have an offset glass. So this piece is actually tilted, kind of at a 45 degree angle there, and it goes through this uh, coal backplate, so this black backplate here. So it creates a really unique design. And that's our new introduction from Minka Lavery and George Kovacs. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you soon.